रुक रुक के ना देख 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 रुक रुक के अभी डाउनलोड करें ताकि आप देख बिना ब्रेक सिनारियो इस वेदर इट्स अ टेस्ट मैच वन डे टी ट्वेंटी यू हैव दिस कंप्लीट कैप्टन कूल यू नो द टैग दैट यू हैव अचीव्ड आर यू रियली दैट कूल गोस थ्रू योर हेड व्हेन यू आर इन दोस टेस्टिंग एनवायरनमेंट and tell us little bit about disclose something you can't be that cool uh to start off uh, i would say i have a bit of cough and colds so i won't sound very nice and i'll keep coughing but the reality is uh, you know i can't blame it on delhi ki delhi mein hawa kharab hai that's why i'm having this cough and cold i have it for the last few days so uh, nothing related to that uh It's good to be here. It's a pleasure coming here. No coffee time ke baad mein Delhi aa raha hu. And now to answer uh, what you asked, uh, I think I am as each and every individual is. We all feel the frustration. We all feel the irritation when things are not going our way. But uh, what is important is, you know, does frustration lead to anything that is good for the team? You know what. at that point of time what i am thinking is what needs to be done you know galti ho sakti hai kisi individual se hui ho ya puri team se hui ho ki jo bhi hamara plan tha maybe we we didn't execute our plans well you know whatever the format may be t20 ho test cricket ho ya 50 over format ho so uh, i like to get into the process again you know what sir can be done right now uh, depending on the situation test match mein uh, you have two innings so yeah, at times yeah. you get slightly yeah. longer duration to plan out your next move uh, one day mein thoda time constraint hota hai t20 mein everything happens very quickly so the demands are very different but uh, i would say that you know i feel equally frustrated uh, i also feel angry at times i feel disappointed but what is important is none of these are constructive you know what needs to be done right now uh is more important than any of these emotions so when i get into the thinking of what needs to be nabi mujhe kya karna hai what is the next thing that i can plan who is the individual i can use and once i get into it you know i i i'm controlling my emotions in a much better way so i would say i am like everyone else it's just that uh, i control my emotions uh slightly better than uh, some of the other individuals you know because uh i feel uh you know human beings have a lot of emotions and especially us indians you know uh, we thrive on emotion so you know it will be wrong to say that you know these are something that doesn't come to my mind yes you know i i also face each and everything uh, but i always felt that my emotions should be uh, under my control and if i am able to do that then my thinking will be more constructive and also it will help me think more about the process than the result because the result can put undue pressure on on the individual or or as a team in in, in the full thank you ms that's so mature and uh, very thoughtful commentary and you are absolutely right. finally have to mature at some point of time and <laughs> i'm getting old now so i need to get matured so my other question to you is ms you were the captain of india's t20 team for the first time and uh, we achieved success and became world champions in the t20 format what did you seek to achieve when you were pulling together the team what in your mind makes a great winning team and and did you really think that when you went in to play that t20 the first time round that you were going to emerge as as, as world champions well whenever you go for a tournament the the thing that you want to achieve as a team is to win the tournament and that's like a long term goal but uh, ultimately what you do is you break it into the smaller things something as small as you know particular there was something very particular about that t20 world cup you know bowl out was one of the things and uh, <clears throat> before that we have never practiced bowl out so what we did as a team was whenever we went for practice we said to start the practice off we'll have a bowl out whether it's before the warm up or after the warm up because we may need or there may come a situation where we may have to do a bowl out session you know after the game if it's a tie and we said it's very clear yes it is for fun but at the same time 
whoever hits the wicket most number of times they will be the ones who will be used if the situation arises you know it has nothing to do with i am a bowler this is my job i will do it as like no again it's like a performance thing we'll keep doing it every day and whoever has the best hit ratio will be the ones who will be used and we started in that way and we never realized actually that in the first few games it, itself you know against the pakistan game there'll be a bowl out session so a lot of people ask me you know we used a lot of bowlers who were uh, in the bowl out who were not regular bowlers or who won't have been the first preference and i was like you know we picked the ones who were best equipped or who practiced the best or gave us the best result because it was something that was very unusual for us but we prepared in a way that we were ready for it so similarly throughout the t20 world cup it was it was very interesting that it was the first time the t20 world cup was played we had not played a a lot of games before that so we had a lot of challenges in front of us you know how to approach the game you know so we wanted to be more expressive on the field and ultimately you know winning or losing it comes to each and every individual as part of the team you know everybody when you play a team sport everybody has a role and responsibility and i felt uh, throughout the t20 world cup the roles and responsibilities uh, that were given to individuals you know it was fulfilled to the best uh, manner possible and that was the reason you know because of which we won the tournament you know it's it's not it's not always about few of the individuals you know performing uh, a lot better than than the whole lot you know what you want is everybody to contribute that one wicket at that right moment a good run out and outstanding catch you know these are the things that can really shape the momentum of the game and we were able to do that whenever there was a tough scenario we had an individual who rose up to the occasion and performed well for the team so these were the things we were looking for we are not looking at the result yes we wanted to win the tournament but we are not looking at the result what we said was we we'll take care of the small thing you know i still remember i almost uh, from that south africa game you know everything was like a knock knockout game you know and and we, when we were playing against south africa it was one of the greenest wicket or most likely wicket uh, you know one of the most likely that i had seen in the shortest of format but again you know a uh, few of the individuals uh, they batted well we got just enough runs on the board but then the bowlers took over and they in fact put so much pressure on the south african batsmen that they were not able to qualify you know if they would have won they would have easily qualified then there was a scenario where they needed to score some 120 runs or something even if they lose they would have qualified for the next stage but ultimately we bundled them up for something because of which they were not even able to get into the next stage so uh, yeah i think you know as a team we did very well and i always felt whenever you are playing a team sport your team needs to perform yes there will be games where one individual or two individual will win you the game but the moment it comes to winning a tournament everybody needs to contribute and at at a substantial level so i felt your know, t20 was a uh that was a great tournament to start that off and we were just more expressive on the field and we were better prepared to deal with different situations you know compared to some of the other teams very interesting ms you know one of the things that i've always been intrigued and as you achieve success you know i've always said this that it takes many decades of hard work to achieve instant success you know the world sees the success part and the journey that you've gone on Why I, I, I mentioned your the MS Dhoni, the untold story, the inspiration story that you know is being told on celluloid. One of the questions that I have for you is, and now this is taking away from cricket, but I really want to focus on what are those ingredients? And as you grew up as a child, you know what drove in you that tenacity, that determination, that mental strength. that irrespective of what the odds are irrespective of what the disappointments were that you were able to keep that north star in front of you and your goals and and therefore be able to strive to excel to that i feel that you know while you had an extremely illustrious cricketing career where the whole world writes and talks about to me this is another part of your life and story which i feel with a young country like india and frankly someone like me who's got young child is an equally uh, you know uh, empowering story so tell a little bit about that you know, what was that like and, and what prepared you for this this big league that you that you arrived 
you know, uh, your question seems very technical, but uh, the thing is, I, I always felt the answer that I'll give, it's a very simple answer and, uh, you know, a lot of times you think it's very complex, but at the end of the day, it's a very simple thing that you are doing in life and uh, I feel when it comes to the kind of cricketing career I had, it all boils down to the simplest of things. Like when I started cricket, it was for fun. You know, I used to play tennis ball cricket, it was mostly for fun. You know, every day you go, you compete, you learn, you come back. Next day again, 4 o'clock you go. And if you have lost the other day, you want to win that next day. You know, so uh, it all started from there. And then finally, you know, uh, cricket started in school where uh, I must be like 13, 14 at that point of time. And we used to have summer camp during the summer vacation. So that was my first exposure to leather ball cricket.